Hi, I'm Jeff. And I'm Shilio. And today we're going to talk about the difference between twin flames and karmic soulmates. Ooh. So, in order for us to build an understanding of um, both of these ideas so we can compare and contrast them, first we need to define karma. What is karma? Yeah, it's a good place to start. So, karma it happens as uh, we understand it when you do something that is off your path, off of your, you know, off the beat, not off the beaten path, like literally off of your path of what you are um, supposed to be doing, meaning in alignment with love. And what happens is um, karma is the force that returns your energy back to you because you put it somewhere that it's not supposed to be. It's just law of attraction. It's just law of attraction called karma. <laughs> Great. Yeah. So, um, Shalia got right to the core of it, like a boss, and, uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, like, if you, um, if your intention is to attack and be harmful, then by, uh, by the spiritual law, that energy must come back to you, because that's your energy, and whatever you focus upon returns to you. So, yes, if I, uh, if I have attack thoughts, and I try to attack a brother or a sister, uh, then I must, I must experience my energy coming back to me. It's like a feedback loop in order to make a different decision and to use it as a tool of awareness of, hmm, this sucks, this hurts, maybe I won't do this again. Uh, but if you continue to choose ignorance, uh, then, which is not bliss, then you're going to continue suffering via experiencing karma, which is your energy returning back to you, until you um, perhaps realize that you're the one that's creating this issue in your life, and you have the power to fix that. And the power to fix that uh, is to choose wisdom. And when you're choosing wisdom, you're choosing love. You're raising your vibration above the level of the problem. We all know this little blurb, right? And it's about making a choice based on love, and not one based on fear and attack. So that's karma in a nutshell. So a karmic soulmate is someone who comes into your life for some sort of reason because you've attracted them. A karmic soulmate is not someone that comes into your life as a result of some unlearned lesson, and you have to do it, you have to figure it out with this yeah. particular person, and you need to resolve whatever is going on there between the two of you before you can, you know, uh, have a happy relationship or move your separate ways. Um, that is what you are choosing to create. That is not the nature of reality, and this is you know, some spiritual law of unknownness that you have to <laughs> you must endure. Yes, endure suffer. Oh my through. god. Or you I have, have to, to you know, pass the test and then it will, <laughs> and then it will go away. Yeah. And then you can have your twin flame, right? Or there it's just it's all BS. Yeah. Just let that idea go. Doesn't serve you anymore. Just let it go. <laughs> Whoosh. All gone. So, what is a karmic soulmate? Some crap that you made up that has no bearing whatsoever <laughs> on your life and your choice and your experience. Yeah. But what if, Jeff and Shalia, but my experience, Jeff and Shalia, but what if I have this? I but no, this is my experience. I'm gonna bang on the keyboard right now in the comments. Ah! I'm gonna bang right now on the keyboard in the comments. <laughs> it's not my fault! This is real. <laughs> Of course it's real for you. Yep. Of course you're experiencing it, because at some level you're choosing that. So if you don't like it, make a new choice. Yeah. Like having a, a, car, having a karmic soulmate, uh, or choosing that experience, um, is not something that you actually need to do to clear karma, uh, if karma is what you believe you have. Um, I think that's just another big problem people believe is, uh, I don't know, I kind of thought I had karma for years, you know, and then I realized, wait, <laughs> when I was, uh, uh, when I um, became a channel by opening up my channeling abilities, I could, you know, hear God and talk to God, like Neil Donald Walsh talks, has his conversations with God. And uh, God's like, yeah, you have no karma, like, <laughs> you know, like, uh, that's, 
you know, that's not real for you because, uh, mm. like, um, yeah, I mean, you just, you experience whatever energy you put out there and then, you know, it returns to you and then you make a different choice. And, you know, in the past when I had experienced something I perceived as negative, then I'd have to look within myself and be like, well, okay, what's, well, okay, like, I, I'll make a different choice because I can see why this person is reacting this way or this shitty event happened or I lost money or something. Like, it's, it's just law of attraction or, you know, like, why did I, uh, why was I born into a family that was shitty and shitty parents? <laughs> in an abusive family well it's not because I have fucking karma with them right. <laughs> it's because that was the experience that I needed as a soul that uh, was a very juicy and prime opportunity for me to really direct the pathway that I was desiring to take uh, for this lifetime so they they provided that opportunity in the form of uh, awarenesses, and I took it. It had nothing to do with, oh, well, I was a soldier in the war, and I, I killed my father, and now I came back as his daughter, and he was a bastard to me, you know? like I had to feel what I gave to them. No, no. you have to feel what you put out. That's choosing, what you choose. That's choosing hell. <laughs> <laughs> so, if your agenda here is to choose hell and use the karmic soulmate uh, idea that you create to be a psychopath, well, that's your choice. Yeah, we can't help you. But um, if you, you understand <laughs> that you actually choose to feel good, genuinely, you can just let that idea go. Good. Yeah. So, um, the difference between a karmic soulmate and a twin flame is the topic. Let's get back to this. Yes. Uh, they're not in the same reality or realm, and they have nothing to do with each other. They are two different choices, like apple and baseball. They're both <laughs> objects that you can throw. <laughs> They're completely different. So your twin flame is your ultimate lover, your eternal best friend, yeah. your perfect divine complement. There is no karma to sort out with your twin flame. Like, we had no karma. To sort out, I mean, there was no karma. There, what oh, is? Oh, karma's a bullshit idea. Ha! <laughs> <Huh. laughs> idea like, bad, idea gone. Just I love like, uh, just like discovering this, like in the moment when I'm like, because I'm like, we're with God right now too, while we're talking to you, and so like we're receiving all this, so we're like having a, a conversation with God. <laughs> While we're talking with you, and uh, we yeah, just start I just, with where consciousness is and work down to the I truth. I just went right down to okay, God, what is the truth? I'm open to receiving the truth, and only when you're open to receiving <laughs> the truth can you uh, can you get the truth. We don't like study deeply or prepare for the topics on camera. We're not doing eight weeks of research, uh -huh. you know, in books to find out how to do this topic. We simply sit with it and communicate to God and with God about it. Here to you. Uh, and uh, just it's it's all energy, and so we're just tapping into the energy, and that's a big portion of it, because you know we're we're already one with all that is. <laughs> we're not separate from yeah. reality. <laughs> so, uh, your twin flame is your ultimate lover. Your karmic soulmate is some crap you're making up to feel bad. So stop making that up and stop feeling bad. Make a new choice. Yeah, exactly. And uh, if. What, probably what a lot of you are really experiencing with your twin flame is just a lot of upheaval. Sure. And so you're, you know, you are you can be confused, I guess, between the two. Yeah. So. Well, I think that that topic is uh, complete. Yeah, I think we hit it out of the ballpark. <laughs> Great. Well, thanks so much for joining us for this uh for this episode and we'll see you in other videos don't forget to check like and subscribe and check out the awesome uh, links that we have below to the resources we have available um, regarding twin flames and all the work that we offer to help you get into your harmonious union with your twin flame and deepen that connection and experience yeah thanks so much for joining us